I'm Patricia Ryan Madsen, Emerita faculty from Stanford University. I founded the Stanford Improvisers and wrote a book called Improv Wisdom, Don't Prepare, Just Show Up. I taught at Stanford for 30 years. And when I came there to be head of the undergraduate acting program, the, the job that I was given was training young actors in the university setting. And what I discovered was that, that my bright, uh, talented Stanford students were really good at, at following directions. If I told them what I wanted, they could produce almost anything as actors. When there wasn't a right answer, but an answer related to their own feelings, their own sense of what was so, they were hesitant. And I thought, you can't train actors unless you can help them find a way to first hear their own voice and then begin to trust it. So I went in search of systems that would help me help young actors in training find their creative voice. And what dropped in my lap was improvisation. When you're improvising, you don't have a result in mind. So how can you be looking for something, creating, how can you be open to something happening that you're not even looking for? The conditions for creativity include creating an environment that is safe. It means that the leaders, whoever is facilitating, has to also be playing by the same rules that they hope their group will play by. If they want their group to innovate, the leader has to be an innovator. The leader has to make mistakes. The leader has to try things and screw up. And the leader has to model being light with uh, judging results as they go along. You have to do more than give lip service to the notion of um, being okay with mistakes. But just to even start with the word mistake, mistake is a strange concept when you, when you look at the creative process. And the whole climate that says, oh, innovate, but don't make any mistakes. Well, it's crazy. I, I think part of it is changing the language that we use to talk about evaluating as we go along. The product of the creative process is eternally uncontrollable. Whereas what you do, your behavior, is always controllable, and that's what the creative person needs to focus on, showing up for the things that they want to do, getting their bodies there, being awake, alert. There are many conditions where the creative process involves us to work collectively. There's the notion of always say yes. But it's, it's much more than that. It's not just being an agreeable co-creator. It's looking at that idea, looking at that point in time, and asking, what can I add to that? It's the notion of yes and. We know that ideas are everywhere. There are a dime a dozen. So uh, if we are in a crisis of innovation in our country, it's not for lack of ideas. I think it's a, it's a lack of cooperation, a lack of listening to each other and taking any sensible idea and using it to the max. I think that the creative process and, and innovation is much more natural and simple rather than being something that is um, special. I know it's highly prized, but it's often really looking at ordinary life with greater respect. The improviser or the creative person is someone who is always noticing how much they're receiving from others. To me, that eye of appreciation, the eye of gratitude, is key to being an innovator.